All right, guys, so in this video, I'll show you how to replace the oil filter housing gaskets on 2011 BMW 740 Li. Uh, it has a N54 engine, twin turbo, and this is a F01 body type of the car. Um, so we'll start like by, of course, removing the valve cover, I mean, engine cover, then um, air filter box, but we already did that in the previous video, so you can check that out over there. Uh, right now, what are we gonna do is I'm gonna rem remove all the intake manifold. It's uh, one bolt actually and six nuts. They are 11 millimeters right here. And after that, like we're start by, uh, I'm not gonna disconnect those uh, oil cooler lines. So there is three bolts holding this, uh, it's like oil cooler thermostat in here. Um, the one is right here on the bottom, you can feel it. I'll show you where, so we'll remove that. And then I'll show you how to remove the oil filter housing itself. We removed all the bolts and nuts from the intake manifold. So I have a star socket E long one in here. So we're gonna remove bolt number one. Oh, doesn't fit in here. The other one is on the bottom. So I would start by removing the bottom one first. So we have enough room in here. So this is how it looks like. You can say it's leaking for sure. So let's clean it out a bit. I'll take a small E12 to remove this bolt. So I'll actually remove those lines because it's blocking the access for the bolt and I don't see. The reason why I didn't want to do that is there is an O-rings in the end and sometimes I don't have this O-rings today so usually they don't leak but they might so that's why I didn't want to remove them. Actually when it moves freely like this we now can probably put on the E12 socket and see if it's if it goes nah still not enough oh well actually it does this is all we need so yeah you can uh leave the lines on and after removing this bolt maybe put the bolt back on so it doesn't slide out anywhere but you can take this bolt out just with your fingers there you go and I'll, I'll put this one back Not tight, just so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm gonna remove this one now. So this is the last bolt. So there is uh, three bolts in total, one, two, and one in the middle, on the bottom. And the only thing you need to do is just to take it out. We already have our catch can on the bottom and we'll wash the engine after this. So we don't worry about that. But you can always uh, 
put the towels in there. Clean it good. Get rid of all the oil. Also, uh, a good tip is to remove the oil filter, let the oil drain, and you will have uh, less oil getting out. But we're gonna do also do the oil change, absolutely, on this car. And we have already our catch can. Yeah, it's gonna make the engine dirty and all that stuff, but we're gonna wash the engine after all repairs. All right, so I removed the filter. And if you look inside, you'll see it's like slowly going down. Um, might take a while. I can tell this oil has been changed a long time ago. And it's like very thick. Um, maybe not proper oil. So we'll let it drain. Then we clear what what's left. So we don't mess up the engine too bad. And we're going to do the oil change, of course. And right now I'll show you how to actually remove the oil filter housing. We need to do that to drain the oil so when we remove the oil filter housing it doesn't splash all over the place. Okay, so the oil filter housing gasket is bolted on by three bolts. First one right here, that's the, the hardest one. The second one right on top. And the third one you can see right here behind the intake manifold. That's actually the reason why we need to unbolt it because we're gonna just simply move it up and take this bolt out. But for the first one, the bolts we have right here like use E10 socket, but you can't fit E10 socket with this hose on. We're gonna replace this hose anyway, so we're gonna remove it, but I'll show you how to uh, usually this hose when you remove it it breaks 100% like uh, in most cases if it hasn't been replaced before it breaks 100% so in order for you to not be stuck with this situation like uh, there is a way to remove it with just 8 millimeter range like that 12 point uh, and the biggest uh, secret is to just put it firm in here sometimes it can be too tight but if you put it firm and don't let it angle so when you put it on the bolt like this like let's say it's just an example if it goes angled so it's like lifts up a little bit you're gonna strap the bolt if it's firm and you hold it firm nothing's gonna happen here you go that's it like, uh, that's how we removed it. The, the bolt wasn't too tight, so I'm just gonna use the wrench and uh, after that I'm just gonna use my fingers to take it out completely. Yeah, but the bolt now is loose and you don't have to remove this hose. This applies for all turbo engines, BMW, like six cylinder, I mean. Uh, on 3 Series especially, where this hose goes all the way down to the thermostat on the bottom. Here it goes to the thermostat right here, it's not a big deal to replace, but maybe you don't have the part. So, in order to not break it, don't remove it. That's it. Okay, so uh, we almost got this bolt out. And uh, it's really hard to move, so I'm gonna, just going to remove uh, those two and we move this uh, oil filter housing a little bit and just uh, continue to removing the other one. So in order to um, remove that bolt, like, well, this one, this one is simple, uh, but to, in order to reach this one, first we'll have to move this wire around a little bit. Um, you don't have to disconnect anything from here because the intake manifold just lifts like that. And there you go. You got your axis in here. Just, uh... And that's it. Uh, I usually use 
the magnet to pick it up just makes it way simpler. doesn't want to go here you go all three bolts are different length and uh, this is the middle one that's gonna be the longest one and this one the shortest one it's like you can not possibly mix them up like they're all completely different going in in their own spots and right now we can move the oil filter housing it's like uh, the coolant and the oil is gonna definitely leak from there so be ready for it and make sure you have your oil pan in there and it makes me like makes it easier to remove this last bolt this is the, the hardest bolt you can see I'm just taking it out with my hands and that's it that's the last one <coughs> and the only thing left like I'll put some uh, towels inside the filter so it doesn't leak so this is it here's your gasket Here's where it leaks, like, here's where it can mix with the coolant on this spot right here. If it's like gone completely, it like mixes with the coolant in there. And like, I just want to show you how hard it is. Like it's, it's, it's very bad. I can't even penetrate it. Like, yeah, so clean it up, uh, clean it up good. And I'm gonna like, uh, we're gonna clean it up and install it. I'll show you how to do that. But we also gonna remove this hose and I'll show you how it breaks so you know what I'm talking about, about this bolt. All right, so we cleaned everything up and here's the new gasket. Like, uh, let's clean that a little bit. The very important thing is you don't use any silicone in here, nothing zero so this is it this is all you need to do no silicone because we've seen a lot of cars where they used a lot of silicone in here and it starts leaking really quick like not the way it's supposed to be and i usually start with the smallest bolt that goes in here like you can push it through the hole and just uh, put it onto the thread and let it be there a little bit. So what I do is I tighten this, like not tighten, like hand tight it all the way. So there is not much gap left. And after that I install the other bolts and I tighten them slowly one by one. So it's like kind of sucks in perfectly. But I use this one first because uh, this is the hardest one, especially if you use the eight millimeter range. Like, uh, this takes the longest time. All right, guys, so we're gonna replace this hose right now. And I just wanted to show you what happens when you remove it, because if you can, like, uh, do it with the eight millimeter wrench in here for the oil filter housing gasket you will have to remove that hose and uh, I well if you have no other choice like you have no other choice but work your way with the eight millimeter and it works like 95 times out of a hundred Two 10 millimeter bolts holding this hose. Nothing special about them. Maybe a little bit hard to take off the rear one because of the wire. It's 
like uh, it's on the way. This hose has an O-ring and we'll try to move it. Here's the screwdriver. Oh, this is a crazy part where this hose didn't break. So what happens usually? This O-ring splits with the housing of this hose and it just stays inside but we're replacing this hose for these reasons like it's over expanded like it's been a lot of oil leak to this hose so it's a good idea to replace that but it's it's very rare when you take off this hose and it like comes out as a complete so you can put it back on and it's not gonna leak but usually a part of it like this whole part stays inside and you remove just the pieces So we got the last gasket, the oil filter housing. Well, second and the last. Uh, install it in here again. No silicone needed, nothing else needed. Don't do it ever. Don't put silicone on the oil filter housing gaskets ever. And uh, well, just remove that, clear that out a bit. Put it on. Just make sure you tighten the bolts evenly, and that's all you need to know. The way I usually do it, I just put them a little bit, all of them. Seven series, you can actually see the bottom bolt. socket will be monitor how the gap reacts like a little bit here a little bit there and then a little from the bottom now it stops out there so this one and this one so it's all flat now you can tighten it I would usually start with the bottom as the most important part where it's leaking the most Get to plug in uh, 
oil pressure sensor. We're gonna do the oil change, so. It is very important. I'm sure it is very important to replace this o-ring in here it comes with every oil filter every single one of them and this o-ring right here the green one it's very important to do so because this one controls the pressure for the van solenoids and it make like a lot more difference when you replace that i mean you won't feel it but it means a lot for the van solenoids and the Vanna system itself is going to live longer if you just replace it every oil change. And this one for sure, it can leak a lot, it can leak everywhere, it can be very heavy leak if you don't replace it for like three or four times. So every single time you do the oil change, replace those two O-rings. It comes with every filter. All right guys, uh, so that's pretty much it. Like. Uh, completed the valve cover gasket and the oil filter housing gaskets on this car today like we're just gonna do the oil change and put like uh, those little parts we have left in there and uh, thanks for watching I hope it's been helpful and stay tuned